Alright, so I'm going to show you how to install Cloudy Flex. Um, <clears throat> this is the latest Cloudy Flex as of today's date. Um, and I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to show you how to go into recovery when the phone is completely turned off. This is actually not an easy thing to do with the LG G2. Um, I find that pressing and holding the power button and when the screen comes off, I release it. Uh, as long as it's not plugged into a power source plugged into the computer, that's about the only way I figured out how to get it to stay off without it coming back on. So once you have it completely off as it is here, we're going to turn it over and you're going to want to press and hold the volume down and the power key at the same time. And we're going to hold down these keys and when the LG logo pops up, we're going to let go and we're going to press them again. So I'm pressing and holding the volume down and power button. Now, I have found that the Sprint variant is very tricky to get to uh, this point, and it does, has a different screen as well. It doesn't pop up this factory hard set screen here. <clears throat> it's going to tell you to press the power key to confirm, and don't worry, it's not actually going to erase anything. I mean, it will if you don't have a custom recovery on here, but I'm assuming at this point you've rooted and you've installed a custom recovery. So I'm going to press power once, I'm going to press it again. And oh no, there goes my data. Nope. Twerp. Alright. I've already done a backup, so I'm not going to do another one. Uh, I'm going to wipe. And I'm sure if you watch my other videos, you've seen me do this before. Everything but the internal storage. I'm going to slide. And I'm using Twerp 2.6.3.3. And this is the LG G2 D800. Because it's quick, I'm just going to do it again. Again, it's quick, it's not a big deal, it takes a second. Install. I downloaded CloudyFlex 1.3 from the link below. It does take a while, it is a large file, but it's the only thing that you need to flash. Alright. He uses an Aroma installer for his, so you're going to get options. We're going to hit next. Okay. Installation. Pick my variant. Oh look, you got the Sprint and Verizon model added here now. That's nice. Those weren't there before. And now we can select through here. I use my own task manager, so I'm not going to use theirs. LG backup. Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't use Quick Voice, but I'll add it because I get asked if it works. Well, Q Voice. Uh, let's see, safety care. No. I'll do the dictionary. Clarice Viewer to the notebook. Text link. That should be good enough. Next. Install. So, not a very difficult uh, aroma installer because there's not a whole lot of options there. Um, the last time I used a stock based ROM that had an aroma installer with a lot of options was on my. Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and that was Jedi X20, and uh, you could pick everything from the launcher size and things like that, and that's one thing I would like to see is uh, a way to adjust the launcher for the LG uh, based ROMs. You'd be able to add more icons, make them smaller, etc. Not to complain, you can change DPI and it changes everything else, but it doesn't seem to, to affect the uh, the icons. Not a big deal. So there it goes. It's going to install my posit while it goes. Okay, so it's done. I'm going to hit next and let it reboot. Now, I did have requests to do reviews on SlimCat and Carbon ROM, and I will do that. The only reason I'm doing an LG based ROM is because there are so many. AOSP based and non LG based ROMs and I did a few of them already so I thought it'd be fair to go back and do an LG based ROM for those that are LG based fans because long ago uh, when I did either Grievous or if I did I think it was Aeon Flex I did have a request for somebody from somebody to do this ROM and I did not want to ignore them um, I had been watching that and I did add it to my list of uh, subscribed forms on XDA because of that request. So here we are. 
boots in pretty quickly. I am going to pause this though because I do want to give it a good 10 minutes to set in. So here we go, we've let it set. Let's go through here. Wi-Fi, I'll pause it while I connect. Okay, so it prompted me to my Google account, which I just put in. I'm gonna let it restore. I'll pause it while it does that. All right, so continuing on here. Done. Uh, let's see. So it does appear this must be an Odex ROM because that looks like it's the Flex widget, and it is. So this is an Odex ROM for those of you that uh, care to know that. And let's see what goodies they have baked in there. <sighs> Anyways, so we're looking through here, and uh, let's that away. Let's see what kind of goodies they give us here. Uh, so I need to go into G2 Expose and enable that. Okay, so we're presented with this appearance here for settings. We're going to switch to list view. Let's see if we have anything new. If it's, I'm going to get my developer options out too. See what we got. So I'm not seeing anything bundled with this. So it doesn't appear that there's like a uh, a downloading software center like there is in Aeon Flex or um, Exposed already installed on this or the G2 Exposed uh, already installed on this. It looks like it's pretty clean. Let me go to the app drawer though and make sure. Sure, it's not exposed on here. I don't see exposed. And I don't see G2 settings. So um, this appears to be a very clean Flex ROM, and uh, I will go through and test it and uh, see how it performs. And uh, I should have a review for you on Tuesday, and I'll go to the next one and do the next uh, original Android-based ROM, AOSP-based ROM.